Hi folks and welcome to the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohm here at the CFSB Center where the Racers scored a big win over Dayton on Saturday. But first let's kind of get you caught up on what the Racers did this past week on Thursday night. They had a great win in Bowling Green as they went over to uh, Diddle Arena and beat the Hilltoppers by the score of 70 to 59. Isaiah Cannon had 18 for the Racers there and Ivan Aska 14. And then on Sunday afternoon, the racers came back home for the first time since mid-November and knocked off Dayton in front of a very enthusiastic crowd here at the arena. The final score there, 75 to 58. And again, it was Isaiah Cannon leading the way for the racers with 21 points. And that'll take us to our next game, which is Sunday evening, a five o'clock tip at the FedEx Forum in Memphis, Tennessee, as the racers take on the Memphis Tigers. And we'll be talking about that game a little bit later as we go along here, but we welcome in Head coach Steve Prohm and uh, coach, the team's 9-0 and and you just keep rolling. Yeah, very fortunate and blessed. The kids are playing extremely hard. Um, I love our group. I think they're great character and great toughness. You can do really good things. And they really sold out on the defensive end of the floor, uh, playing together, playing unselfish, and having a lot of fun. Well, it's it's been a lot of fun uh, watching this team and covering this team. We're going to roll the highlights from... Sunday afternoon as the uh, racers welcomed in Dayton and new head coach Archie Miller. We, so we had two new head coaches uh, in the game going against each other here at home. And uh, coach, you got off to a pretty good start and the team's done that. Uh, as we look along here, you had a, a steal and uh, Juwan Long finished. It was five to two. Eventually Cannon hit a three and it was a quick start, 10 to three. Yeah, I talked to those guys. One of our goals was for the game, we usually give them five or six goals and one of them was to win the first five minutes of both halves and we were able to do that. And, you know, we can get stops and Isaiah and Juwan and Dante, Stacy, Zay, whoever it is, can really push the basketball, give us an opportunity to get easy baskets. Tell us about that, that high ball screen up at the top of the key. That was working really good Sunday. Yeah, you know, we we a lot of ball screens in our offense. It's just something we, we have good guard play, and we want to give them space to create. And, you know, Isaiah, Dante, Juwan, all those guys are very good off ball screens. Zay Jackson, Stacy as well. And just gives us, you know, gives them a little angle to create and, you know, draw some help to be able to make another pass and, and free up, free get, you know, open up for open shots. Well, Stacy Wilson came off the bench, uh, coach, and gave you another spark. He hit a, a shot in the lane right there, uh, and then he scored again to give the racers an 18-17 lead. And, you know, we were talking a moment ago about Stacy's development as a defensive player. Uh, he forced a turnover here coming up, too. Uh, he's starting to figure it out, isn't he? He is, and, and it's just going to take time. You, you look at that by Stacy right there, unbelievable ball, pressure on the ball. He's, he's selling out to what he has to do on the defensive end. He understands that that's how he's going to continue to earn more minutes and then be efficient offensively. His stats are really good offensively when you look at his numbers and his, and his efficiency, and he's just going to continue to get better and better as the season goes along. I'm really excited about that. Well, your bench is coming on, too. We saw Latrez Muchat uh, hit one there. What about uh, Zay Jackson comes off the bench there and hits a three? He did, and that was good for him. I met text him last night just messing with him. I said, man, you finally made a three. <laughs> and he said, yeah, I can make it at home. I just got to shoot him better on the road. But the one thing, you know, talking to him, he realized, too, hey, I got to defend the basketball. If I want to continue to get more minutes, I got to defend the basketball. And I thought he did a great job on Dillard. Well, this was a great finish by the racers uh, last minute and a half of the half. Uh, Poole hit a three. 26-21 racers, and then Wilson gets a steal to Muschat, to Aska, plus the foul. That was a, a great play to end the half on. It is, and that's the thing. You want to start quick, but you want to you want to win those last two, three minutes of each half. I think that's such an important swing going into halftime. And what, what I was most impressed with that play is not the finish down there by Ivan, but we turned it over. Stacy sprints back, takes away two points, and we go down to the other end and get three. Well, the racers go into the halftime locker room up 29 to 23, and then in the second half, it was a big 13 to 2 run uh, there uh, with a, uh, about four minutes into the second half. Uh, Coach, we, we missed on our tape a little bit. We, we missed the three by Long and Cannon, but then we just see that inbounds play there with Muschat finishing, and, it, and it, you got it up to a 12-point lead, then Muschat again on the putback. It's a 15-point lead at home, and it's 14 minutes to go, and you're just thinking, we got to we got to keep defending and keep the, the foot on the gas pedal offensively. Yeah, I talked to them even when it was Tennessee Temple was here, or Harris Stowe, whoever it was that came here is mm -hmm. you got to keep the pedal on, you got to keep pressing defensively, keep being active, uh, keep pushing tempo, and you can't, you can't let up. And the one thing I was proud of these guys today, 
uh, we got better at. We were up at six at halftime, and we continued to extend our lead throughout the half. Well, uh, Latrez Muschat, a uh, career high with the Racers, 14 points, came off the bench, six out of eight, led the team in rebounds as well. There's another good look at it as he goes strong to the hole, and that gave the Racers uh, a 17-point lead with 12.40 to go. And then Brandon Garrett keeps coming off the bench and giving you some good things too. He did. I was most proud of Brandon. You know, I got on in the first half. I, I, he just wasn't ready to go, you know, early in the game. But came in the second half, and, and he was terrific. I thought he came in. He was focused in the second half. He defended well. Uh, got two putbacks. Uh, you can see right here, you know, kind of Staying misses a bunny, it. but he stays with it, finishes. He finished the play before that. You saw earlier with the nice jump hook. and. He's just going to keep getting better, and you got, you got to continue to challenge him. And then your team does this better than anybody uh, around picking up the charges. Yeah, they're proud of them rotating. And that's, it's not always about blocking shots. It's about walling up and making a smart play defensively. And we've been able to draw charges, especially Ed Daniel, led by Ed Daniel. Now that's a deep three right there by Isaiah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a big shot. That was a huge shot for us right there. That, that uh, came with 7.30 to go to put the racers up by 13 after Dayton had cut it to 10. Uh, then Aska got fouled, made a couple of free throws. It, eventually, uh, the lead went to 17 with 6.24 to go. Uh, but then in the last five minutes, you know, with a great team like Dayton, this thing isn't over and you finished it strong and, and won it 75-58. Yeah, we had to continue to play to the last, you know, basically the last two minutes. And then both teams kind of, you know, just started kind of running mm -hmm. offense. And, and it was over in that last kind of minute, half, two minute mark. But we. There was no room for error. We had to continue to guard on the defensive end of the floor and continue to push tempo offensively, and we did that. You know, that, that's a drill you do every day where it's it's three on two, make the defender commit and, and yeah. then dish it right there. Yeah, do that, and then we'll do a two on one transition, really working on us getting back and making plays def defensively. Well, that was the last bucket of the game. The Racers uh, won it over Dayton 75 to 58 to uh, push their record to 9-0 and uh, this season. And of course, everybody is uh, putting Murray State on the map again, much like the last two years with, with the team doing so well. So everybody's excited about that. And uh, Coach, before we take our first break, your team has done such a good job of forgetting the game you just played and concentrating on the next one. That's what it's about. It's it's day to day, and today we're in finals, and that's our only focus. We're totally off of practice today. Mm -hmm. They'll pop their head in their office with study hall, but Dayton was great. We'll, we enjoyed that yesterday. We'll enjoy it today while we're off. But when we come back and convene for practice mm -hmm. tomorrow, it's about getting ourselves, getting our team better the first couple of days of the week, and then towards the tail end. Week, and then towards the tail end, getting ready for Memphis. All right. So we're looking forward to that game Sunday in Memphis. We'll tell you more about that as we go along. But first, our first break here in the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohl. When we come back, we'll check out the Thursday win at Western Kentucky. New Wave Advantage number 17, the area's fastest internet. This is Nicole. She wants to watch her favorite YouTube video. Not so fast, Nicole. Her slow DSL connection means downloading takes forever. Nicole's tired of waiting, so she's switching to New Wave. New Wave has the area's fastest internet, up to 10 times faster than DSL. Now Nicole can surf, download photos, and stream videos faster than ever before, without the wait. Thanks to New Wave. Blazing fast internet. Another New Wave Advantage. Call today. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. For more than 30 years, the NCAA Division I Football Championship Subdivision has helped athletes achieve their dreams. The dream of playing football and hearing the home crowd cheer time after time. The dream of competing for a national championship. The dream of an excellent education. The dream of becoming a leader. And the dream of playing the right way with sportsmanship. 
NCAA Division I football. It's not a dream. Come see for yourself. Explore a new world. Many of you have a lot of experience. Come and make yourself a place. 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 Chang Chow, lấy đích mày lại. Phải đặt phải vào những cái villa của. Tất cả những điều tốt đẹp nhất đang chờ đón bạn. Dunia Anda untuk dijelajahi, thân xuân đến thế giới. Murray State University, your world to explore. Hi folks, and welcome back to the CFSB Center for the Racer Report with head coach. Steve Prohm, Dave Winder here, and of course we're going to go back to the Thursday night game as the Racers played Western Kentucky for the 149th time. Racers going back to Diddle Arena looking for their first win there since 2003. Coach, this was a good atmosphere, and my goodness, your team was ready to play on this night too. They came out focused, ready. They, I think they understood the rivalry. Obviously, we've got a lot of respect for Western Kentucky and their program and their players. They've got a really good young core group. But we came out and we got a, got a great start and was able to really finish the first half on a great run, 22-5 to run, I think, and that carried us into the second half. Well, we're early on here. Uh, Isaiah Cannon hits a three. The racers were up 10-3 uh, to three to start the game. Uh, and that was a, after Long there hit a three. Juwan doesn't take many, but he's shooting like 72% when he does take one. I think he's 9 for 12 looking yeah. at the stats, 75%. And, He's very efficient, and he's not a guy going to come off a bunch of screens and get his shots for three. Uh, he kind of lets Dante and Isaiah and Zay create for him, and he just gets penetrating kick threes, and he's making shots. Well, then early on, too, the Racers were up 12-9 uh, to nine when uh, Cannon made a drive, and uh, Ivan Aska really uh, played well in this, and, and so did Ed Daniel. Uh, but And then also uh, Latrezma's shots coming off the bench there in the first half helping you out, too. Yeah, I thought he gave us great energy, and... Um, you know, it's, it's, I talk to those guys, you don't know who it's going to be, you know, every day. It can be a new guy, and that's, what, that's when you know you have a chance to be a good team, when a new guy steps up every night. Uh, we, we showed that, uh, that block there by Ed Daniel. They called that a goal, Tim, but just wanted to show his aggressiveness. And, you know, he played uh, 26 minutes, got eight points and four rebounds, and stayed out of foul trouble for most of the night, but that's what you need from him. No, he's got to defend and rebound around the basket for us to be good, and he's done that. You know, he gets in some foul trouble. we got to try to clean that up. Uh, you can see there a, what a, a really good shot by Isaiah. Uh, he's playing I really well I mean, he well spun right away from the line and still got squared up and, and hit that shot. Yep. That's, that's a great play. And then uh, Ed Daniel uh, gets a tip in right there. And that's what he does well. He, he crashed. He can, he can really offensive rebound. And here we go with the uh, with the kick out, and that was a bank shot by Latrez Michat. Did, when he came to the uh, the bench later, did he say he called that? No, he didn't call <laughs> that. So we we were glad that went in. Okay, so <laughs> the racers up 28-23 with 4:50 to go. Uh, Michat got another drive with the, at the four minute mark. The racers up by four, and then you just really finished the uh, the half to get it up to 12. Coach, this was an impressive little run that you had right yeah, here. Yeah, and Brandon Garrett, I think, ends it with an and one dunk. Stacy lays one in there, but I think he ends it with an and one dunk to go up 12. And that last eight minutes of the first half was the biggest key to the game. Yeah, we, we saw the uh, the Wilson reverse on the baseline. Then Cannon got fouled, uh, and he hit all three free throws to put the racers up 37-28. And then I believe that I, think, I believe you got a turnover, and this is the last play, uh, the last bucket for the racers at the half with Garrett, uh, plus the foul. So he made the three-point play, and the racers go to the halftime locker room, uh, up 40 to 28. And uh, you know, Western's a team that they, they have a very young team. They're going to be a very good team probably before the season is over. And you knew in the second half. They, they weren't just going to lay down and let you walk. I mean, you knew they were going to come back, and they did. Yeah, they did, and we, we got a chance. We got up to 16, and Stacy had a chance to put us up 18 and just didn't kind of get his feet set in that layup and, you know, ended up getting his shot blocked and went out of bounds. And they made a great run, and to their credit, uh, I like their young kids, uh, led by George Fan, a local kid in Bowling Green, who I think has got an outstanding career ahead of him. Oh, the racers saw that 16-point uh, lead eventually get down to three with 9.40 to go. And, and the other thing, Coach, that I, I've noticed about when, uh, and there have been many this year, when a team does kind of get a, a run on you, you just look really, really calm over there. I mean, you, you, and you finally, you did call a timeout there 
What did you tell your kids? Did you just tell, just get them back on the page? Is that what just you did? Just get back on the page. I mean, they don't. You don't need to tell them too much. Um, you got to keep your composure, especially on the road, and you know, just continue to be resilient. But do what we know what we need to do to be 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 effective, and that's shot selection, being disciplined offensively, making the extra pass, and then guarding people. And there was a stretch there we weren't doing that. Well, the racers uh, got it back going again. You saw uh, Aska. Uh, score inside. Uh, Poole hit his uh, first three of the game uh, during that stretch as well. And then with uh, 2.47 to go, uh, Isaiah Cannon uh, hit a nice high bank shot. And then there's the slam by Daniel. That was kind of the uh, exclamation on uh, point on it as that came with a minute to go. And the Racers uh, won for the first time in Bowling Green by the score of 70 to 59. And coach, uh, this team is uh, like, like we were talking about, they're doing a great job of, uh, of taking one game at a time and hopefully you'll keep doing that. Well, yeah, that's what it's about. It's about one game at a time. It's about continuing to progress to get better in March. And that's where we want to be our best February and March in tournament type atmosphere, you know, and you do that by getting better in practice and then playing your games and we just got to stay focused. All right, so the racers are rolling along. We're going to take another break here on the race report with head coach Steve Prohm. When we come back, we're going to hear from some of the guys after the games this week, two wins for the racers. There's a new, unstoppable force in the universe of internet speed. Introducing Warp Wave, the next generation of high-speed internet, brought to you by the masters of internet service. New wave communications with speeds up to 50 megs. Warp Wave takes you faster than you've ever thought possible. Be the most feared online gamer in the galaxy. Stream video with no deep space delay. Download at speeds light years ahead of the competition. Call today and surf at warp speed with the fastest internet, period. Murray State University, your world to explore. it up. He's going to have to shoot from his knees. And he oh! banked it in! He banked it in! Off the far sideline. Shoots at the buzzer. Goal! It's good! And the Racers win! Jumper. Goal! This year, when you get asked where were you, make certain the answer is, I was there. Murray State University season tickets on sale now. Hey, Racer fans, don't forget to check out the homepage of the Murray State Racers. That's GoRacers.com. We've got everything on there that you want as a fan. We've got the fan shop. We've got the photo store, and you've got news and bios and so much more, videos after every game. It's a great place to be, GoRacers.com. Back here on the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohm. After Saturday's win over Dayton, we had a chance to catch up with a couple of racers, Latrez Muschat and Isaiah Cannon. Uh, it's a big momentum boost. And uh, everybody like to see a three go down. And when we get to rolling and hitting them, everybody get to hitting their shots. Uh, we very fun to watch. And uh, Trey has held it down, doing what he do. And he's coming around. We excited for that. And like I say, our team is just excited to watch. We excited to play. And um, just glad we got a good win. Um, getting that win feel much, feel much better than what I did, you know. Um, just trying to find my way, you know. I had to sit out all last year and just finally get in the groove of things and learning how things how things work in the offense and things like that. Well, those were the comments of, of Latrez Machat and Isaiah Cannon after the win over Dayton on Saturday. And uh, coach, uh, uh, leadership is so important on any basketball team. You, you've got an abundance of, of leadership on this team. Uh, not all of it vocal, not all of it uh, guys who just let their actions, but you've got a good mix here in it. 
it just seems like everybody uh, knows what they're supposed to do on this team. Well, right now they do, and they're, they're playing for one another, and that's what it's about. It's about trying to make each other better. Uh, our senior leadership's been terrific uh, ever since I really got the job, and can't say enough about those guys. And then Isaiah and Ed and um, the other older, experienced guys have stepped up and taken on a new identity and a new role with this year's team, and, and then proud of the progress of our newcomers. And, you know, I want to be continue to be close knit and continue to grow as a team. Well, it's it's certainly been uh, fun for me to be around that and to see how uh, you and your staff go about your business. Uh, uh, the Racers are playing some great basketball right now, uh, and they've got a bunch of big games coming up. And we're going to be talking about that schedule, which starts with the Sunday game at Memphis. We'll talk about that next when we come back on the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prom. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. There's a new, unstoppable force in the universe of internet speed. Introducing Warp Wave, the next generation of high-speed internet, brought to you by the masters of internet service. New wave communications with speeds up to 50 megs. Warp Wave takes you faster than you've ever thought possible. Be the most feared online gamer in the galaxy. Stream video with no deep space delay. Download at speeds light years ahead of the competition. Call today and surf at warp speed with the fastest internet, period. Murray State University's award-winning student-produced newspaper is online. TheNews.org is your hot spot for national news, coverage of events in the Western Kentucky region, and all things Murray State. Winner of the Kentucky Press Association First Place Best News Story and Second Place Best Special Section, TheNews.org features something for everyone, including breaking news updates, daily videos, live racer basketball updates during the games, entertainment news, and blogs. The Murray State News arrives every Friday, and on thenews.org, you can stay up to date 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Thenews.org, the official website of the Murray State News. Hi, folks, and welcome back to the Racer Report with Head Coach Steve Prohm here from the CFSB Center in Murray, Kentucky, and the Racers are 9-0. and They're looking forward to the game Sunday at Memphis at the FedEx Forum, and Coach, let's take a look at the schedule. Uh, big game on Sunday, obviously, with the Racers uh, taking on one of the top teams in the country, Memphis. But then after that, it is a, uh, a three-game homestand, which will uh, match the longest homestand that we'll have uh, this season. you got a very good Lipscomb team coming in on Thursday night next week, and then a week from Saturday at home against Arkansas State. And then right before Christmas, we've always got that uh, early OVC game, and that is UT Martin coming in to the CFSB Center. So. So big games coming up for you, Coach, and it all starts with Sunday. Yeah, it does. It starts Sunday, and our preparation all week will be getting through finals and then attacking Memphis, the game plan for Memphis. You know, great opportunity for our guys. A tremendous team led by Joe Jackson, Adonis Thomas, and Will Barden, and several others. But very athletic, uh, really put pressure on the basket, and we got to do a great job to down there to give ourselves an opportunity to win the game. And then... Lipscomb and Arkansas State bring two very disciplined and well-coached programs in here with Coach Brady and Coach Sanderson. And then you throw all your non-conference stuff out the window there because now you go into conference season with UT Martin. Well, uh, yeah, you're obviously going to be watching a lot of tape of Memphis. I, I watched their game, uh, I guess it was at the Maui uh, tournament, the, the overtime game against Georgetown. Their, their quickness is, is eye-popping. It really is. They're athletic at every position, and I'm going to – sit back and think about how we need to defend them and then think about how they're going to defend mm -hmm. us. Uh, they're very interchangeable and they're very athletic and they play at a high level. Um, and it's, it's a great chance for us to go down there and play against a very well respected program. Okay, so the racers at Memphis on uh, Saturday at the, uh, or Sunday at the FedEx Forum are going to tip it off. It's kind of a late afternoon start, 5 o'clock. 
Uh, the game's also on CSS on, on Sunday as well. So we're going to wrap it up here on the race report with head coach Steve Prom. We're going to take one more break, come back, and we'll uh, talk about what's coming up for the racers here on the race report. New Wave Advantage number 17, the area's fastest internet. This is Nicole. She wants to watch her favorite YouTube video. Not so fast, Nicole. Her slow DSL connection means downloading takes forever. Nicole's tired of waiting, so she's switching to New Wave. New Wave has the area's fastest internet, up to 10 times faster than DSL. Now Nicole can surf, download photos, and stream videos faster than ever before, without the wait. Thanks to New Wave. Blazing fast internet. Another New Wave Advantage. Call today. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. For more than 30 years, the NCAA Division I Football Championship Subdivision has helped athletes achieve their dreams. The dream of playing football and hearing the home crowd cheer time after time. The dream of competing for a national championship. The dream of an excellent education. The dream of becoming a leader. And the dream of playing the right way with sportsmanship. NCAA Division I Football. It's not a dream. Come see for yourself. Hi folks here, uh, ready to wrap it up on the Racer Report with head coach Steve Prohm and uh, the racers going to Memphis on Sunday, 5 o'clock tip at the FedEx Forum and hope there'll be a lot of racer fans going down there. Um, coach, uh, you're a new head coach, you haven't lost a game yet, I mean, what's life uh, like for Steve Prohm these days? <laughs> it's good, I've, I've been truly blessed, i got a great staff, uh, Alan Ward's terrific, AD, President Dunn, the community, Murray's a great place and got great kids and life's very very good for me right now but even outside of wins and mm -hmm. losses. Uh, well I know uh, you're, you're enjoying being with these kids uh, that's what it's all about uh, but the racers really have just a great team don't we? We do we got good kids good character good toughness and the relationships with the players are what makes this thing all mm -hmm. special and hopefully we can continue to have fun as this season progresses. All right, Coach, go get them Sunday. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. Head Coach Steve Prohm, this is Dave Winder. We'll see you next time on the Racer Report. And as we leave you today, here's the voice of the racers, Neil Bradley. He had a good week, too. <laughs> Pick set by Kavanaugh. Dillard spins around, lost the ball. Daniel picks it up. They had pool breaking. It would have been a tough pass. But can they find Long off the glass and Anna Regents bank bank shot. That was Cannon, Neil, with the pass and transition. They still had numbers, huh? They did. Takes his eye off the ball and has it swatted away by Oliver. Inside, it's stolen again by the racers. Stacy Wilson, left side, finds Muschad. Inside, Aska, off the glass and in. And he's fouled. Give the assist to Muschad. Hey, I'll tell you what, Stacy Wilson broke up that play, though, defensively. Dayton had numbers. Wilson, out of nowhere, picked it off. Up the floor to Mushat, like you said, Neil. Our sideline goes inside through two defenders, lays it up, no good. And Poole picks up the rebound. Racers in transition. They want to run. Poole drives, dishes it to Long off the glass and in. What a pass. Last second. In